Hey guys, uh, I got my Jeff White Bush One knife today, and uh, I repurposed an old elliptical trainer that I had, and that it broke, and uh, turned it into a press. So we've got some foam on here. Uh, these are just the pads from. Uh, they're, I don't know what you call them, flooring pads, I guess, for a playroom or for a workout room. Just uh, these things right here. Got them at Walmart, 12 bucks. I've heard they work good. I know they're not the real thing or whatever, but I've got a little makeshift press here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and heat up some Kydex and we'll give it a shot. Bear with me. Okay, guys, Kydex is all heated up. Let's... Uh, See what we can do here. I've got my knife blade taped up. Now this is my first time, so bear with me if I screw it up. Gonna go ahead and give a little leverage over on this end. I'm gonna leave that for a few minutes and see how it goes. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes cooling off. Let's uh, take a look and see what we got. easy it is to see in this light but we definitely got an outline of the blade I don't want to trim this off a fair bit but well, it definitely took the shape we'll uh, start trimming it up and, and see what we got All right, guys, there's my rough layout. Still got a, some more trimming and cleaning up and everything else to do, and I got to lay out the rivets or uh, Chicago screws or whatever I'm going to use, but uh, there it is. Goes in nicely. Of course, I don't have anything holding it. I'm just putting tension right here ahead of the blade, not on the blade, and uh, it's holding in nicely. I'm pretty pleased with that so far. not uh, it's not a perfect outline of the blade here by any means but it's not a thick blade either guys so I don't expect uh, you know precision I don't expect to see the stamp in the blade or anything like that it's just not uh, 
it's not thick enough for that. I'd really need some high, high pressure. And uh, as you guys saw, I was just working with weight and just this homemade little press. But I'm pretty happy with that so far for, uh, for a Kydex sheath. I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I want to give you a little bit of a clue as to how the sheath looks at the moment. There it is. Sits pretty nice. I like the height of it. Comes out nice and easy. Of course, you got to look to put it back in, but it's back in. Got good retention. Pretty good so far. I've still got some uh, sanding to do. I've still got to clean up the edges. By no means finished, but uh, I'll get you guys an up close look here. Just a sec. All right, guys. So here it is. This is not quite the finished product, but we're getting there. I still need to sand up here, sand down the edges, trim any excess that I can. Down here, there's some I can still trim out. Um, but you can see I used the knife kit's belt sheath, or sorry, the belt loop that came with it. I'm really happy with where it sits. Um, I had these, or sorry, it came with these two uh, Chicago screws, and I actually have a few more that I had on an old uh, rifle sling that perfectly matched, so I didn't go with any of the rivets. I just used Chicago screws. Now, I certainly could have used rivets on the lower one or the eyelets, but then I've got to worry about crimping them properly and everything else, and this way I can replace the hardware later uh, if I want to put something different on. Um, once I get all this cleaned up, it'll be, uh, I think, a pretty decent looking sheath. It suits the knife as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't look all tactical. It's just a chocolate brown sheath, so it could just as easily be leather and uh, it wouldn't change the look a whole lot. Um, real happy with it. What I am planning on doing, I don't know if I'll get to it tonight or not, but uh, I am planning, I did see on... Google image search. I was searching for some Kydex sheets and I saw one guy that set it up like this and then he also wrapped a piece of Kydex around and gave it a tail, turned it into a regular belt hanging uh, sheath. So it was scout draw right handed like I have this and then he wrapped it around bolted onto the same place of course which I can do because I have these Chicago screws instead of uh, eyelets. Um, essentially, he, he wrapped a piece of kydex around, and, the, and then it would be sorry. Uh, so let's say it's it's attached here, then it came around and up this side, and then became a belt loop here. So that'll give me the option to just unbolt it and use whichever method I want. Uh, I really like that option, so I'm probably going to go that route. Um, just going to have to heat up some more kydex. I got lots of cutoff left for this, left after this, so. Uh, Pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's gone all right, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll pause this and do a little more finished work and show you again in a little bit. Thanks. All right, guys. So other than my modifications to the belt clip and making it so I'm able to vertical carry it, I'm done. Um, and I will do the vertical carry option. She has not today. Um, I've been working on this thing for quite a while now since I got home. Um, I was happy to unbox it today and I wanted to get a sheath for it today. I didn't want to have it sitting with no sheath for any period of time because I can't take it anywhere that way. So uh, I kind of, I don't want to say I rushed on the sheath, but uh, well, you guys saw the stages. Um, it was my first time. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. There it is. I've trimmed it up a little bit more since uh, what you guys last saw a minute ago in the video. I've taken off quite a bit from here. Just kind of tapered it down and sanded the edges. Um, it's not perfect. You can see some uh, some spots where I could sand a little more, but it's 
the edges are smooth. Um, left the drain hole for water, of course. Now that'll matter when I'm carrying vertically. Uh, when I'm carrying horizontally, honestly, it's not. It's a pretty nice tight seam, but uh, that drainage hole is not going to do a whole lot sitting like this, I guess. But uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue. It's, uh, retention's really good. There it is. Won't shake out at all. Not bad at all. And I'm holding. I'm holding here. I'm not holding the blade itself. I'm holding by these, by these uh, Chicago screws right here. So this isn't really adding any more tension to the to the blade, and it's retaining really well. I'm super happy with that. Now, uh, if any of, you, any of you guys have been watching this video, I don't think anybody, including myself, expected this to be perfect, and it's not. I'm sure. Um, you know, I got to, uh, I could use to uh, clean up this top edge a little bit. It's a little rough. Definitely. Uh, and I probably will. I mean, I'm going to tinker with this. I'm calling it done for the sake of the video, but uh, I probably won't leave it that way for too, too long. Um, but yeah, these little uh, Chicago screws turned out quite well. I'm very happy with those. Um, of course, they're all equal length which was perfect for this piece that had the eyelets and uh, four pieces of kydex. It was a little loose on this one, so I took a couple of rubber grommets and jammed them in behind there so that I had good tension. You don't really notice it at all because it's in behind. And even when it's being carried, ver carried vertically, not a big deal. I could even reverse that if I wanted to, if I was really that fussy about it. Um, but yeah, so that is the... Jeff White Bush 1 knife with a custom Kydex sheath. Uh, I guess uh, Canadian Sheepdog Custom Kydex Sheath Mark 1, I'll call it for today. Uh, it's definitely going to have uh, some adjustments and some changes made to it, no doubt. But for right now, it uh, holds on to that knife like a dream. I'm very happy with that. Scout carry option worked out really well for this uh, for this setup and uh, hope you guys like it anyway like I've said before definitely go ahead and hit that like button if you uh, are enjoying my videos subscribe um, I will keep the videos coming I'm very happy with this uh, hand forged knife from Jeff White um, I haven't had a chance to get out and beat on it and I'm really not going to beat on it but I'll certainly use it uh, this thing is going to be used as intended uh, it'll be a woods knife it'll be a camp knife uh, it'll be used every chance I get. So uh, I'll let you guys know any uh, feedback I have for you. Um, in the meantime, stay in touch. Have a great day.